I did. Spring is just around the corner and denim is a favorite go-to for most people. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. As you could see, I did it again. I went to Zara. Yeah. So let me come a bit closer. Let's chat a little bit. I have to sit this knee. So yes. I've often promised myself I'm not gonna go shopping at Zara but hear me out what happened is that you know you guys know I love high-waisted um, pants anything actually so I've been in the market for a high-waisted pants but yeah guys this Zara haul is essentially to demonstrate that even if you want something it's not a need it's just a want and at the same time look into your closet first see if you have the same thing there before you go shopping even if you do go shopping first because oftentimes we do things on impulse when you get them still go check into your closet like I'm going to do And yeah, I know they are not in the greatest order. But I did find that I still have some of the very same items from Zara even that I went to get. It always pays to look into your closet first. But I'm going to show you what I got and what I already have in my closet that it doesn't make sense. How many pairs of jeans does a girl need a boy need denims are utilize the most water of all the clothing items that are produced today so we have to be careful about the consumption of our denim items so if you already have it in your closet guys yeah first piece and I love green so I really really wanted to experiment with this high-waisted one to see if I really like it it's a tad too big so I've belted it and for some reason it didn't give me the effect that I really love Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's really too big I do not have a green denim in my closet But it's something on my list and I will definitely check thrift shops first before I buy new. This is the second pair. And this is one of my favorite color jeans. After green, um, there's this color that I really, really love. This washed out denim look. And of course, it's essentially the same style of jeans. So I'll show you what it looks like on. So for it to look great, to get that look I'm looking for, it needs to sit this high. But it's, because it's too big, maybe the medium would work. See the last time I purchased an item from Zara, it was large. And for me, it was so tight around here, I couldn't sit. Now this is too big. So Zara's sizing, it's just unpredictable, honestly. It, it's based on the style but yeah this doesn't really give the effect it's better down here I guess but this is the look I'm going for and I know of sadness the anxious and panic actually looks 
better out. Something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe the infinite vastness of all. But guys, when I looked in my closet, I found that I have this. And this is a vintage piece. I got this piece from my friend Karen in New York. And oh my God, it's been around since the 90s. So it's over 20 years old. I love it. It really fits well. I love the cute detail on it as well. If you could have it. So I'm going to style this with this boot today. This is a boot from, oh my God, a million years ago. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a 90s style that I bought, or uh, early 2000. So I've had it for ages and <laughs> you could see that it, it needs a heel, but it's still in great condition. So I'm going to style it with these jeans today and see actually looks good with it huh yes, this of all that is blackness see see what I'm telling you it's ah uh, I love this. I also found this other piece. This is another piece from her as well. It's also not a wide leg, high waisted piece. Guys, keep your clothes. Fashion is cyclical. What goes around comes around. Seriously, it does. And yes, this has some wear to it. That's why I wear it in the house, but I love it. I still love it. It still has a lot of life in it. And oh my God, what I love about these pants is that they just give you the distressed look and it's from wearing, not during production. That's the unique thing about keeping your pieces and wearing them to death. You get style that is currently being artificially produced to look a certain way. Just keep your clothes and it would absolutely be, oh, you would love them again, trust me. This is the next pair. What was I thinking? Seriously, I don't need it, but it's a lesson for you and me. piece I got and I got this about three or four years ago from the very same Zara so yeah it's not the same wash but it would still work
Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic But these two They are definitely The same wash Or similar washes So yeah Always look into your closet so That is the reason why I would be returning this And furthermore when it comes to my mantra, fabric, fit, and style, this, it meets the fabric. It's from the sustainable line of Zara, Join Life. But at the same time, it does a fit as well. Had I gotten the medium, I may have been tempted to keep it. But I did manage to get the medium when the sale was on and the latch too. See what the future holds but for now it's a return so keep in mind that denims are very durable pieces and i am well aware of that working from home means i wear them almost daily and because of the wash and it gets dirty easily i know that i could interchange these four denims forever in my closet I've been looking for a black pair as well and this is what a black piece looks like believe you could have it and I know of sadness the anxious and panic the infinite vastness of all that is like that gap blackness I don't mind the black I'm tempted to hold on to this yeah i really really love the way it looked on the person that i saw wearing it and so i wanted the same effect but often we have to keep in mind that what looks great on someone doesn't necessarily look great on you the key is to look for similar washes or similar styles guys if high-waisted is not your thing buy a low rise in the same style if wide leg is not your thing buy a skinny jeans buy a boot cut do you you need to stay to your own style stay to what looks great on you because oftentimes we are too easily influenced by others and then we go out and we spend mindlessly and oftentimes i have seen many of my friends they don't return stuff and so what do you end up doing with it yeah the cycle of your item is not pretty when you don't need it or you don't get your cost per wear so it's one of the things to keep in mind whenever you go shopping and i hope that this video at least brings some attention to it that oftentimes you need to just go look into your closet first and see what you have before you shop even if you don't look before you shop and you have shopped upon your return home just revisit your closet see what's in there and guys trust me it would save you some coins probably if it's in medium i'll probably look for it and keep it it's often great to have two black pairs of jeans in your um, closet um, just to interchange when one is dirty or two pairs of blue jeans sometimes that's all you need like but we have so many and it's a lesson learned because you don't need that many seriously and one of the ways to find really really nice denims is to thrift I have found some amazing pieces thrifted from nearby thrift stores. And I'll show you a piece. This 
Wrangler. And I know not many millennials out there would know about Wrangler, but it's a really great piece, a really great watch that I absolutely love. The only thing is it's not as wide leg as I love, but it's, ah, this is a really great piece. And I'll show you what it looks like. And this is what the Wrangler looks like. I just love how high waisted it is, but it's just a different wash. It's more grayish looking. So that's the only reason why I want a black pair of um, denim high-waisted. But speaking of black pair, I do have this piece that I got about three or four years ago and I've been wearing it to death. It's perfect. It's also a little too big, but at the same time, um, I, as I've said before, I needed to just interchange when this one is dirty and you need a black pair of jeans to, to run and go. <laughs> it has buttons. I love that about it. Anything with buttons, guys. So I love that. It's a bit too big, but I don't mind. items are the most flattering when you're in a rush so yeah I really need another black pair of jeans in my wardrobe so I may likely get the medium in that one for now I'll be returning all three and yeah have a think about it it's not a need and that's one of the most important things to also keep in mind so I hope you have learned something I hope you're inspired and i'll see you soon take care love you guys remember to always love yourself accept your perfect imperfections because it's what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous love you guys and i'll see you soon